game has a lot of major playoff implications as the 6-5 Broncos are going to be hosting the 6-5 Los Angeles Chargers. All four teams in the AFC West are above 500. The Broncos, Chargers, and Raiders have six wins, and the Chiefs have seven wins. So, let's go first quarter. Very first play from scrimmage. As Max Selleck, the rookie, will find his tight end, Johnny Smith. That then on first and 10 at the 22, Selleck. Would fake hand it off, and he would be sacked by the rookie from Texas A&M, Carroll Poole. But on second and 18, the very next play after the sack, Selleck would look, and he would find DT, Demarius Thomas, who would get it to about the five. Broncos would hand it off to C.J. Anderson, and they would take the 7-0 lead. So the Broncos quickly got the ball back as the Chargers offense started the game off with a punt as Selleck from Pittsburgh, would be intercepted by Bernard Clark, the second-year man from Texas Southern. Chargers ended up getting a long field goal with James Branstader as the Broncos on first and goal. Selleck would be sacked by Melvin Ingram, one of the Ingram's two sacks, and the Broncos will get a field goal, so it's now 10-3. As on first down, Conway, he's staying in the pocket, he's staying composed, and he will find Robbie Anderson. He actually won't find Robbie Anderson, but um, that will be a pass interference on Chris Harris Jr., one of the two superstar Jayhawks in the secondary. Normally, you see the Jayhawks getting swishes, but with this team, you see them getting interceptions. That time, he got a pass interference. So it was on first down. Conway would be sacked by the former Michigan Wolverine, Taco Charlton. And on second and 19, Mason Conway would find Mike Williams. That big Mikey with a big play regaining all 10 of those yards, plus 9. So, uh, now 1st and 10 on the 10. Conway would be under pressure. And he's running backwards at this point. And Von Miller and Taco Charlton both got to him as on 3rd and 9. At the 9, Conway would look for Melvin Gordon. Or not Tom Mel Melvin Gordon. That's Wayne Coleman. The 3rd string running back with his first career touchdown. Doing it in style. Breaking tackles left and right. Looking like beast mode. So, a little less than 420 left in the game. As Selleck will find Demarius Thomas. Big game for Demarius. Six catches for $2.11 worth of yards. 211, basically. And two touchdowns. That was one of them right there. As Conway would find Rashad Pickney, the speedster. Former Heisman winning wide receiver. You don't see that too often. They've been on first down to 49. Conway. He's scrambling. He's probably going to get sacked, and he will, courteous of the Super Bowl 50 MVP. Von Miller is on second and 24. Conway finding Rashad Pickney, but it would be in the hands of Vincent Octavian, the second-year strong safety as Pickney. It went in his hands, but too much coverage. Bounced out and caught by Octavian as on third down. The Broncos just short. Of getting the first down, so the Chargers have a minute 15 left in the first half to drive down the field as Conway would find Alvin Kamara on the screen, who was in for the injured Melvin Gordon, who dislocated his knee and will be out for the rest of the regular season, which is a major blow for the Chargers. As towards the end of the first half, James Brandstader with a 56 yard field goal, and the rookie makes it. He's only missed two field goals and one extra point this year. Rashad Pickney with a nice catch there. Then, out just one minute in, to the third quarter as Conway would find big Mikey Mike Williams. There goes Mike Williams with a nice juke. The juke actually did not work at all. But he got to about the 20 and then on second and goal but one. Conway, the only one in the backfield is he would find Patrick Mays for the Charger touchdown. The rookie from Georgia and the Chargers would take their first lead of the game. So the Broncos now have the ball back as Selleck. Would fake hand it off for his running back, C.J. Anderson, and he would look deep for Demarius Thomas, as I don't know where the cornerback was on that coverage. Keanu Neal could not quite get to him, as then Johnny Smith would get the score. He got injured uh, in the first quarter, but uh, I, I'm pretty sure he got injured in the first quarter, but he returned shortly after, as on second and seven, Conway would find Robbie Anderson, and that's his first catch of the game. He did have that fast pass interference play, but that's not considered a catch. As Conway would find Mike Williams. Nice play from Williams getting to the 24. Then on third and eight of the 22, Mason Conway would look to scramble with it, and he would be sacked. And James Brandstater would just barely make the field goal. He, I'm, I don't know how he 
made it, but he's James Brent's hitter. He does not miss. As uh, Selleck on first down would be sacked. Then on third and 20 at the 24, Selleck would drop back to pass, and he would almost find his tight end. Nice defense from Leonard Worrell getting the deflection. Could have been picked off, but still a good play by the middle linebacker in his third year from Penn State. As on first down, Max Selleck would be sacked, and he would be taken out of the game. He got hurt. And incoming will be the third stringer, Mitchell Red. It's the starter, Joey Foote, was actually injured. Uh, he will return in a couple of weeks. Is that That's how bad this Mitchell Rep kid is. That was a terrible throw. He He's not very good. Joey Foote and Max Selleck are two very promising young quarterbacks. Don't know why the Broncos need both of them, but... Okay, it's Mike Williams with a beautiful catch there. He had a phenomenal performance as he's been picking it up after not really a slow start to the year, but could have been a little faster as Conway would find Rashad Pickney in the end zone and the Chargers would regain the lead with 5.51 left. So, Mitchell, Rhett, and the Broncos are back as Rhett would be intercepted by Tredavious White. This one looks like it's pretty much done for Denver as Conway on second down would find Cooper Barrett who would fumble it and it would be recovered by the Broncos is holding on to the ball you will see will eventually become a struggle later on in the game for the Chargers now a minute 38 left first down will end this game as Conway would hand it off to Alvin Kamara see there you go fumble recovered by the Broncos and the Broncos still have a chance to win this game but they're gonna have to do it under Mitchell Rett and Demarius Thomas saying, I got the ball. Just let me run wild. Touchdown, Broncos. They take the lead. So the Chargers are going to try to drive down back the field. But Kamar would fumble it again. Picked up by Chris Harris. I don't, actually, I don't think that's Chris Harris. I'm not sure that, who that is. But the Broncos would make it an 11-point game. So it's not looking good for the Chargers. This would be a major loss as the Broncos would officially have a tiebreaker. As the Broncos did beat them week one. But on 2nd and 10, Conway would look deep, and he would find his man Robbie Anderson for the beautiful touchdown catch. But it's still not looking good for the Chargers. They would end up going for 2, and Conway would find Patrick Mays as on 3rd and 11 at the 24. Rhett would hand it off to C.J. Anderson. Broncos would not get the first down, but it would not be enough as the Broncos would win final score 41-38.